Hi, and welcome to the Symbolic Interactionism of George Herbert Mead. Here's where we're going in our discussion of Symbolic Interactionism. Meaning, the construction of social reality. Language, the source of meaning. Thinking, the process of taking the role of the other. The self, reflections in a looking glass. Society, the socialization of others' expectations. A sampler of applied symbolic interaction. Ethical reflection. Levina's responsive I. Critique, setting the gold standard for three interpretive criteria. Symbolic interaction is characterized by the ongoing use of language and gestures in anticipation of how the other will react, a conversation. Mead is the disciple of Herbert Bloomer, who coined the term symbolic interactionism. Symbolic interactionism looks at meaning, language, and thinking. Meaning, the construction of social reality. Humans act towards people or things on the basis of the meanings they assign to those people or things. It is our interpretation that counts. The stimulus leads to the interpretation, leads to the response. Language, the source of meaning. Meaning arises out of the social interactions people have with each other. The extent of knowing is dependent on the extent of naming. Symbolic interactionism is the way we learn to interpret the world. Symbols can be nonverbal or linguistic. Thinking, the process of taking the role of the other. An individual's interpretation of symbols is modified by his or her own thought processes. Thinking is described as an inner conversation. Minding is the inner dialogue used to test alternatives, rehearse actions, and anticipate reactions before responding. Humans have a unique capacity to take the role of the other. Taking the role of the other is the process of mentally imagining that you are someone else who is viewing you. The looking glass self is the mental self-image that results from taking the role of the other. Meaning, language, and thought are interconnected. The self is a function of language. The mead cooley hypothesis states that individuals' self-conceptions result from assimilating judgments of significant others. Me is the objective self, the image of the self seen when one takes the role of the other. The me is viewed as an object, the image of the self seen in the looking glass of other people's reactions. I is the spontaneous driving force that fosters all that is novel, unpredictable, and unorganized in the self. While the me is the objective self, the image of self seen when one takes the role of the other. Me is viewed as an object, the image of the self seen in the looking glass of other people's reactions. Society, the socializing of others' expectations. Society consists of individual actors who make their own choices. Society in the making rather than society by previous design. Generalized other shapes how we think and interact within the community. Mead considers me as organized society within the individual. A sampler of applied symbolic interaction. Mead believed that theory is valuable to the extent that it is useful. 
Creating reality is characterized by Irving Goffman, who claimed the metaphor of social interaction as dramaturgical performance. We create reality in that we're involved in a consistent and constant negotiation with others to publicly define our identity and the nature of the situation. The audience of one is reassured only when the actors give a consistent performance. Meaningful research is characterized by participant observation. Participant observation is the method of adapting the stance of an ignorant yet invested visitor who carefully notes what people say and do to discover how they interpret the world. The generalized other is characterized by the sobering short story, Cypher in the Snow, which tells the true account of a boy who is treated as a non-entity by his parents, his teachers, and other children. Their negative responses gradually reduce him to what they perceive him to be, nothing. He eventually collapses and dies in a snowbank for no apparent reason. The interactionist would describe his death as a symbolic manslaughter. Naming is exactly what it sounds like. We lie to our children when we say, sticks and stones may break my bones, but orange will never hurt me. The truth is, sticks and stones may break my bones, but names can really hurt me. Name calling can be devastating because labels force us to view ourselves in a warped mirror. Those images aren't easily dismissed. The self-fulfilling prophecy is the tendency for expectations to evoke responses that confirm what we had originally anticipated. Symbol manipulation is we find symbols that are able to speak to a group of individuals that are rooted in the experience of the people themselves. Levenes argued the identity of our I formed by the way we respond to others. The ethical echo, I am my brother's keeper. Each person's face is a signpost pointing to the pan-human ethical requirement to actively care for all people. Arnett argues if we follow Levenas' lead, interpersonal communication will be more about listening than telling. Critique, setting the gold standard for three interpretive criteria. Stryker argues that Mead's ideas are flawed especially if viewing the theory as testable explanations of observable social regularities. Mead's work is highly interpretive and deserves to be evaluated on six criteria. The theory's fluid boundaries, vague concepts, and undisciplined approach don't lend themselves to an elegant summary. And this concludes our discussion of symbolic interactionism. Meaning the construction of social reality. Language, the source of meaning. Thinking, the process of taking the role of the other. The self, reflections in a looking glass. Society, the socialization of others' expectations. A sampler of applied symbolic interaction. Ethical reflection. Levina's Responsive I. Critique, setting the gold standard for three interpretive criteria.